Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lakeview Barbecue. Today, we got a treat for you. We're doing a porchetta for porchetta sandwiches. Cheers. I'm gonna show you a method to cook rotisserie and still use your deflector plates. It's not that hard. I kind of figured, I'm using a big piece of pork. I don't want to burn the outside of it. And it seems like the only way you could do it is to do it direct cooking. Well, we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you how to do indirect cooking. So you're gonna grab this. You're gonna grab this right here. You're gonna turn it to about there. So you got this at 10 o'clock, that at two o'clock, so on and so forth. Now I'm gonna grab my ring. This is your divide and conquer. You wanna keep that in. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna try to get this. And each one it. Kind of finicky. You're gonna wanna get that underneath each one. You're gonna have this sitting flat. That takes a little work and a little wiggle room. And there you go. And then you're gonna center it. And then you're good to go. And now your lid is gonna shut perfectly and make a nice seal. And you can still put your deflector plates on. That's a uh, pro tip 101, Kamado style. This is action. That pork belly. Oh, the pork head is going to be good eating tonight, I'll tell you that. Oh, well, yeah, we're salting the skin here to draw all the moisture out so when you put it on the barbecue, it becomes nice and crispy. And don't be afraid to use a lot of it. You're going to be wiping it off in the end anyway. So I've done this three times. I've, uh, for about the last hour, I've salted. And then I've dried, and then I've salted and dried. I've done it three times every 20 minutes. You're going to want to get this skin nice and crisp. So wipe all that excess salt off. Grab some more paper towel. Get all that moisture out of there. Make this skin nice and dry. When you go to barbecue it, it's going to be amazing. Toasting up some pine nuts. Here it's going to give a nice nutty flavor to this porchetta. These pine nuts are smelling real nice. As you can see, they're toasting up. We're going to give them a couple more minutes. Right now, I'm preparing our herbs. It's all with the same sage, rosemary, and thyme. And it's going to be all going on the porchetta. So my mortar and pestle, I'm going to get some fennel seeds and grind them right down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we got the pine nuts. I'm just going to kind of crush them up a little bit. I'm just cutting this to truss this up when it's all done. I figure I'm going to probably need about five pieces of string. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to season the pork belly. Put it over on this side. Garlic, rub this garlic all around. All right, now we're gonna put our herbs. We got rosemary, thyme, sage, and they're all going in. This is a pretty thick cut of uh, pork belly. It's gonna be able to handle it. Go with some nutmeg. Spread some nutmeg all around here. Oh, this is going to be so muddy. And like I said, don't be chintzy with these spices. This is a thick cut of pork. You're going to get very subtle hints of all this stuff. Now we're going to go in with our fennel. Down. Add some extra flavor. Add some salt. Add some salt. Red chili flake. Add a little bit of heat. We're not going to add too much. And we're going to go with a zest of one orange. Oh 
my goodness, look at that. That's money, homie. All right, last but not least is the pepper. Just a fresh ground pep all over that. All right, now comes the fun part. I'm trying to roll it all up into a ball. Here we go. This right here, you're gonna to wanna to pick this up, chicken wing basket, chicken wing, rotisserie chicken wings on the barbecue. Phenomenal. If you don't have that in your life, trust me, you're gonna want it in your life. I can promise you that. All right, I bought these metal skewers. <laughs> and to the barbecue we go. We're cruising at about 350 degrees. I'm gonna throw on some cherry chunks for this porchetta. Here's how you're gonna do it. You know, and lift this up on a 45 degree, throw a couple nice chunks of cherry on that side. I figure cherry go very sweet. With some pork, you can do apple, you can do pecan, nice subtle smoke. Now I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna throw it on and we're gonna start spinning it. Here we go. Grab the porchetta. Oh my god, this thing is a beauty. All right. Let's see here. There we go. All right. Make your adjustments. Try to go a little bit more in the middle. And you're going to cinch that in. Then we're going to start it. You're going to want to watch the turn to make sure it's not binding or hitting anything. And then once we're good, we'll be back in a bit. Oh my god, this is going to be money. Look at that. That is money. Look at the color of the skin. That is amazing. Alright, we'll come back and check it out in a little bit. goodness inside that looks money that looks money 75 that's a thick piece right? yeah, that's a thick piece let's go right here good you want that long coat 112 90 That's right in the middle. Let's go a little more in the middle. Smoke porchetta. That's insane. Listen to the sound of the skin. Listen to this. That's crisp. It needs to crisp up a little more. It's not. It's not there yet, but that smoke flavor. Like, look at this. Look at this. Like, it's reading like one twenty. That right there is like, say, listen to that skin. That's crackling, dude. That's crackling. Like, that's money. Like, that's what that's what Italians live for, right, Riley? Yeah. Well, let's just go a little bit. Say 130. This is the fattest part right here. 
It was just that, that way over right there. What's it got to be at? 170? 160. Work, ah, uh, 150. 155, you tent it. Here, this side is just so different. One sixty-six. Yeah, she's done, dude. All right. Okay, all right. Look at that crust. Yeah, I'm happy with that crust. Oh, that's a nice cut. That's a beautiful cut. Yeah, I guess I can put that. <laughs> now I gotta hack all this up, like. Yeah, he is crisp. Not looking good for the beard guys. 